uh live and alert on the north side of the dirt it is your man d real coming at you with another be real with d real where edutainment is what i do it's time for a black history moment when is a good time for a black history moment anyway i am going to be edutaining you on the one and only, the legend, Robert Smalls. Is that another one y'all haven't heard of? Well, some people have heard of Robert Smalls, but other people are like, who? Eh? who? Well, sit back, relax, put on your I love to hear about Black people stuff caps. <laughs> and I am going to take y'all through the life of the one and only Robert Smalls. But before I do that, I need y'all to do what you do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D Real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you're digging what a brother shuffling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this page right here. Robert Small. Robert Small. Let's talk about Robert Smalls. This is an older picture of him, but we've got a newer picture of him. I mean, a younger picture, not newer. But who is Robert Smalls? Robert Smalls was a maritime pilot, businessman, publisher, and American politician born April 5th, 1839 and ascended transitioned, whatever you believe, February 23rd, 1915. He was born into slavery in the city of Beaufort in South Carolina. He freed himself, his crew, and their families during the American Civil War. How did he do this? Bruh, you heard I said he was a maritime pilot, right? He commandeered a Confederate gunboat, the CSS Planter in Charleston Harbor and sailed it from Confederate control waters to a U.S. Union blockade, where he immediately became a captain of a Union battleship. See, the Union appreciates people that do things that were starters. I, 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 I guess that's how it went. But, I mean, in true, let me break it down, fashion to you, not only was he a war hero, he was also a politician. He was a member of South Carolina's 7th District House of Representatives, 5th District House of Representatives, and the same for Beaufort County. All this from a man who taught himself to read. He was born to Lydia Polite, an enslaved woman, and Henry McKee, the slave master. She gave birth to him in a cabin behind McKee's house. And she and he raised he was raised Gullah, you know, low country. You know, a, a, a lot of people don't know. What Gullah is, it's an African American ethnic group that 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 resided in Georgia, Florida, and North and South Carolina. And 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 the culture was preserved, a lot of preserved Africanism. A lot of a lot of the 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 African traditions carried over. So that that that's what, what Gullah is. And he was favored by his his slave master, Pappy, who wanted to keep him uh in the home but mom when he was 12 years old requested well not even when he was 12 but even younger than that she was she requested that he work in the fields with the enslaved workers because she was afraid of him not being uh em empathic to or sympathetic to the plight of enslaved field work and so he was also she also made sure that he witnessed a man being whipped. Gee, why do you think mama did that? 
She didn't want to raise no punks. She didn't want to raise nobody who was watered down and soft. Okay, when he was 12 at the request of his mother, he was sent to Charleston to work as a laborer for $16 a week. One of which he got to keep. So basically, he worked five days a week for a dollar a day. Good God to my slavery is a bitch, ain't it? Or was. But anyway, in his teen years, his love of the sea led him to find work on the docks and dwarves where he worked as a longshoreman, a rigger, and a sailmaker. And he eventually worked his way up to Wheelman. Um, and he was very knowledgeable about Charleston Harbor. And so he knew his way in, out, and around Charleston Harbor quite well. Because, you know, once they find out, oh, this slave can run this ship, well, I'm just going to sit back and drink and carouse and let him drive the boat, which is probably what happened. Now, at the age of 17, uh, Robert Smalls married Hannah Jones, who was also a slave who worked at a hotel um, on Christmas Eve of 1856. She was a little older than him, but, you know what I'm saying? Do that cougar thing, Rob. It's all good. Um, and she already had kids, and she had a kid with him, and he had a Robert Jr. who died. And Robert Smalls wanted to purchase his family's freedom, and his family's freedom would have been $800. And <laughs> you making a dollar a day on the dock? <laughs> you tell me how long it's going to take you to come up with $800. See what I'm saying? See how they do us? See how they do us? Okay, uh, but in April 6, 1861, Robert Small's day would come. Uh, in, in the Battle of Fort Sumter in 1861 at Charleston Harbor, um, Smalls was assigned to steer a boat called the CSS Planter, a lightly armed Confederate military transport that, 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 that um, was to survey waterways, and basically it laid mines in the harbor. So if anybody tried to come into the harbor, boom, you know how that goes. Um, but on May 12, 1862, the planter traveled 10 miles southwest of Charleston. And at, at, at that point, they decided the, the, the entire crew was going to get off the boat and leave these darkies on the boat. To mind their business while they went out, drank, caroused, and did all kind of crazy stuff. Now, the planter was, it was docked as usual. You know what they usually, you know, what they're supposed to do, you know, follow. And, and it's a lot of procedure that you got to follow, you know, to dock a point, to, you know, to a certain point. But long story short, Mr. Smalls took that boat and sailed it out of Confederate waters and managed to get the entire crew, the black crew, as well as their family out of slavery. They then worked for the Union Army. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he became a war hero. Robert Smalls, war hero with that, with the, I mean, if he didn't ever do another feat in life, stealing a boat right out from under the noses? Come on, man. He's gangster just for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, after the Civil War, he returned to Beaufort where he purchased his master's house, which Union tax authorities had seized in 1863 for refusal to pay taxes. Also, by the way, um, when when Small stole the boat, um, he got from uh, the Union Navy what they call prize money. OK, and prize money in, in in privateer or pirate talk is usually the money that someone will pay. For a boat that you've stolen or confiscated from someone. Robert Small's got fifteen hundred. That's a lot of money back in that day. So Robert Smalls wasn't exactly slow. He had taught himself to read, so he understood mathematics and business 
and that kind of a thing moving onwards. Okay. Authority seized his property, but he sued to get it back. And he made and he retained ownership in a court case. Okay. His mother lived with him for the remainder of her life. He allowed his former master's wife to move into the former home at, prior to her death. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't even cold-hearted about it. I'm just like, huh, I don't know about all that. But Small spent nine months learning to read and write and purchased a two-story Beaumont building to use as a school for African-American children. He, said he invested in the economic development of the Charleston Beaufort region. And so there were a lot of bi uh, uh, businesses that thrived in that area. Um, he, the Enterprise Railroad, um, a horse-drawn railway business, uh, he, he did a lot for the region. He eventually became a politician in that region um, and started a Republican Party. Now, don't trip out. Republicans were actually the ones back in the 19th century who were the abolitionists, the ones who advocated vigorously to get rid of slavery. See, a lot of stuff happened in the 20th century and, 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 and Republicans, not that they're not worthy of their vilification, but a lot of stuff happened that I ain't going to get into in this video. All right? Now, My man had political affiliation with, you know, state politics. He was a delegate at the 1868 South Carolina Constitutional Convention, where he worked to make free schooling available to all South Carolina children. In 1868, he was also elected to the South Carolina House of Representatives. He was effective in introducing the Homestead Act and the Civil Rights Bill of 1866, the latter of which he worked to pass. In 1870, Jonathan Jasper Wright was elected judge of South Carolina Supreme Court, and Small was elected to fill his unexpired time in the Senate. That's when he looked like that. Smalls was a delegate to the National Republican Convention in 1872 in Philadelphia, which nominated the incumbent Grant for re-election as president in 1876. In Cincinnati, they nominated Hayes. Bottom line, in 1873, Smalls was appointed lieutenant colonel of the 3rd Regiment of the South Carolina State Militia. He was later promoted to brigadier general of the 2nd Brigade of the South Carolina uh, militia and major general to the second division of the South Carolina State Militia, which he held until 1877. Now, some of the things that are his legacy. Um, Fort Robert Smalls was named in his honor. It was built by free blacks in 1863, um, but after the American Civil War, it survived the Civil War, but it, it was uh, demolished in the 1940s. Um, the Robert Small School in Ch Chiraw, South Carolina is named for him. During World War II, Camp Robert Smalls was established as a sub-facility of the Great Lakes Naval Training Center to train black sailors. Mm, good name. In 2004, a U.S. ship was named for Robert Smalls, the uh, USAV Major General Robert Smalls, a Corota class logistics support vessel, which is also a U.S. Army vessel. Robert Smalls Parkway is a five mile section of the South Carolina Highway 170 that crosses Port Royal Island and leads into Beaufort. For as you can see, Robert Smalls was a G. How do not more people know about Robert Smalls? How do we not know more about this man? Just like you often hear me say, you want to hide something from black folks? Put it in a book. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Pick up a book. 
and read, y'all. Get this information. Google something worth Googling other than this, you know, I ain't mad at nobody getting their mail. But if you're going to Google something, Google something worthwhile. Awesome saying, y'all. Well, that's it for now. But fret not. I will be coming at y'all with another one of the mother ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good to each other.